Oh, it smells yummy. Hey folks, and welcome back to my channel. So today's project is a bit of a challenge for me to try to make a really cool piece, but without doing hardly any turning. We may have to stick it on the lathe to do a little bit of finishing, but the idea is if we can make this work, we shouldn't need to hog out the middle and we shouldn't need to do anything with the bottom. Bottom. <laughs> but you know me, just to spice things up a little bit, I'm gonna be using jelly beans. Right, beans are in, <laughs> but I just had a little thought and obviously we're gonna have to put this on the lathe because I wanna, we're gonna need to be able to finish the top rim off. Not a lot, but just probably the top rim. If this works out, I mean, it might not work out, I don't know, let's hope it does. Um, if, it, if it does work out, then, <clears throat> then we will have to put it on the lathe and we're gonna have to kind of like put our mortise in the bottom there but that is gonna chew into the jelly beans, which are all gooey, and the resin's not gonna seep into those, and that's why it's not a good idea to try and wood turn these. <laughs> Should I say turn these? People always say to me, Nick, it's not wood turning if you're not using wood. I know. <laughs> We're doing a bit of bean turning. <laughs> so I think this is gonna take a little bit longer. <laughs> Unfortunately, not for you, but what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna put so I make a lot of noise. Hang on. Could just do that, Nick. <laughs> um, so <laughs> what I'm gonna do, it's not gonna be longer for you, it's gonna be longer for me, is I'm gonna put a tiny little base of resin in the bottom there, only look like smallage, um, and then wait for that to dry, which will be overnight, because we'll use a bit of Entropy Resins fast set on this. And then we'll just bring it up to here, and then we'll put in the beans on top of that. I think that's gonna work just jubbly. Now here's some I prepared earlier. Okay. Right folks, we're back on the jelly beans. Magnum. So this has been left overnight, and as you can see, bubbly jubbly. So it's just giving us a little base in there. Um, probably could do with being a bit thicker, but there we go. It's in there now. <laughs> so now I can pour me jelly bean base. Right, and I've got me blue tape. <laughs> the wicked blue tape. No blue tape, no. You will not ruin this project. <laughs> so as you remember last time we did this, um, it would have turned out perfectly without <laughs> if it hadn't been for the blue tape. So let's see if we can avoid that situation again. Let's get this squashed in there. Right, so I'm gonna try and squeeze this. So you can see they're squeezing up. That is jubbly bubbly that, isn't it? <laughs> That's jelly bean bubbly. <laughs> All right, Nick, now for the jokes. Right, so that's quite cool, isn't it? Actually, just a bit more. A bit more fire. God, these smell absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so there we go, there's our jelly beans all stuck all around there. That, this could look really cool actually, um, if it works folks, if it works. So I've strapped it down. And what we're going to use now is we're going to use the Entropy Resins. This is the uh, CCRA. We're going to use the Slow with this because there's quite a bit of resin actually considering. And this actually saves resin as well, you know, because obviously all that resin we would normally put in there, you know, and if this concept really can work, 
then you know you're going to save yourself a load of resin a load of work a load of time do you know what i mean it's it's an all-round an all-round winner winner chicken dinner <laughs> you know what i'm saying so all right and this could be brilliant and i could do lots of different concepts using this type of method if it works so using a slow because uh, still a chunk of resin going in here um, and the slow will make it come out looking crystal clear just like the last one did so um, apart from the blue tape yes I know <laughs> right let's get knocking up some resin Right folks, I've got this weighed down a little bit to try and push this other bowl down further and then it pushes the beans up higher. Um, I think that looks quite cool and it's kind of left us hopefully a, a nice rim that we can play with afterwards because there will be a bit of turning in this if this turns out well because obviously we're going to have to try and finish the top. But... I'm hoping that we're not going to be able to touch, or we don't have to touch the bottom or the inside, and that will almost be be finished. Um, but yeah, oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I can't wait for these jelly beans. I like it a lot. <laughs> this is it, folks. This is the truth will be told. Does this work or not? There's no blue tape. <laughs> that, that, well, I hope not. There's no blue tape. Right. <laughs> you can say I haven't taken that off yet. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Is this going to work? As if this works, folks. Let's bring you in. Let's bring you in. If this works, this could be so cool. And it could be a really easy way for everyone to make kind of like, well, you know, quick and easy. <laughs> we like quick and easy, don't we? Quick and easy bowls, you know, with lots of different materials. But I don't know, I don't know how this is going to look, if it's going to work, if it's going to look really cool. Oh, right, ready? Drum roll, please. Yummy! <laughs> Look at that, we chopped up some jelly beans. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one, folks. It was another weird experiment. I think we can safely say that it's a winner 
Almost. Not quite a trumpet blow. <laughs> because the inside of the bowl was a little bit misty. Not too sure why that was, but the outside of the bowl looks amazing. But thanks for tuning in folks, and if you did like this video, please could you give it a little thumbs up. That really does help me and the channel, if you thought it was worth it of course. Thanks to those of you that are still watching my videos, I really appreciate you sticking around. Thanks to my members, my Patreons, I couldn't do this all without you. I really do appreciate all of you. I am going to be doing some shorts, <laughs> Zometi shorts I'm going to call it. Uh, short videos because I think that I do need to change up my channel just a little bit so I'm gonna be doing some shorter videos soon but I'm gonna give it a bash and see how you like it take care folks I'll see you for the next one